It's that time again for the ultimate showdown. Entering its four-year anniversary, 32 of the NFL's fiercest quarterbacks will face off in a heart-pounding 1v1 tournament, pushing their limits like never before. Only the fastest and most determined will emerge victorious. Get ready for a clash of titans that will redefine the meaning of competition. Welcome to the Quarterback Kick Return Tournament 2024. All 32 quarterbacks are getting tossed into this single elimination tournament bracket where competitors will go head to head, eliminating the player with the shortest return until we are left with one sole winner. Don't forget to comment who you are rooting for or who you think will win it all. Of course, I got to go with my boy, Justin Fields. I'm locking it in right now. We now have matchup number one where Brock Purdy will take on Justin Herbert. Here we go. It's off. By the way, matchups this year are completely random. I decided not to go by division. Brock Purdy. He's going to be getting it out not too far. That'll be an official score of 27 yards. Justin Herbert is now going to Bruh. get himself a crack at it. I don't know where he decided to go right there off the rip. And, oh, shoot. By a single yard, he fell forward and got it. Is anybody surprised about what happened? No, oh, man. Nope. Oh, and that'll be our first player moving on to round two. We now have Daniel Jones going up against Jacoby Brissett. You might be looking at him and saying he's a trash quarterback, but his speed's coming in in the upper 80s. Always a threat in one of these tournaments. He found a gap and made it out to about the 29 or 30. We'll call that an official 29 yards. I don't know how difficult that may or may not be for Jacoby Brissett. I believe his first time in one of these tournaments and the moves just aren't working he is eliminated back over to the other side of the tournament bracket where we randomly selected kyler murray to go up against gardner Minshew. hey listen we definitely have our clear favorite and our clear underdog here in this one but upsets have definitely happened kyler gonna break a tackle moving and grooving and he ended up with an official score of 31 yards where gardner will have one chance to beat that right here if he would have taken it left it was wide open. Take a look at what Gardner missed right there. Why are you the way that you are? Nonetheless, that'll result in a round two for Kyler Murray. We also have our first match up there as well as he'll be taking on Justin Herbert shortly. Up next, probably the favorite in the tournament, Lamar Jackson going up against Bryce Young. I honestly didn't know whether to put him or Andy Dalton in. We're just going with Bryce for this one. Regardless, it's going to be a tall task for whoever has to go up against number eight. Lead blocker head at the bus a couple of years truck somebody and Lamar Jackson was making magic happen what a return a juke a truck and some fight to get forward with the field vision that's what I'm talking about that'll get him out to his own 45 we're gonna give Bryce a bit of a shorter kick here as well just to stay fair between him and Lamar starting at about the five a spin move that didn't work oh my gosh that could have been sick no surprise here, though. Lamar will be moving on. Oh, geez. <laughs> we have Will Levis going up against Derek Carr. And as much as a meme as he is, I got him winning this one. Balls off. It's about to get caught. Let's see if he can do what the other number eight did with his 55-yard return. Where's the field vision? So no surprise, it's, it's non-existent. Maybe I gave him a little bit too much credit. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we could have our first potential upset here if Derek Carr makes it past the 24. He will easily do so, moving him and the Saints on to the next round. All right, let's go. We have Baker Mayfield going up against Anthony Richardson here in this one. Who's your money on? You know what? I'm tossing it down on the upset. I'm going Baker Mayfield. Baker, please don't make me look like an idiot. We're about to find this out right here, right now. Good blocking. Oh, he just ran into people. Not a bad return, though. Anthony Richardson's now queued up, needing to beat 32 yards. All in all, we're going to have to expect a pretty good return from the boy. Let's see what we can do here. There's room. He's making magic happen. Tackled by the kicker, but it was enough by a single yard. All right, we got a uh, former Super Bowl matchup that I don't want to talk about. Please, Justin, don't let me down. Fun fact, Justin Fields is the highest overall quarterback at kick return, I believe, by a landslide. So I'm expecting some big things here. Not bad. There he goes! Right on the cue, we got our first touchdown of the tournament. Bad news for Jordan Love. He's gonna need a touchdown just to force overtime. Packers fans, I apologize. I will also say, this has been done before. A double touchdown overtime. Jordan Love just isn't doing it though. That'll be out for Love and in for Justin Fields. Pretty even matchup here. Maybe with a slight nod going to T-Law. 
All right, Joe Cole going to be receiving this ball around the two and a half yard line as he makes his way upfield. He cuts it left. A little broken tackle to get him a couple extra. Trevor's going to need to make it past the 27 yard line here to eliminate Joe Burrow. Oh, there's a big block outside. It's not going to be enough though. That's only the 25. Hey, the Jacks have been disappointed all season and they're continuing it here. If I'm Patrick Mahomes, I don't think I want anything to do with Jaden Daniels, but these are two quarterbacks that have some speed to them. I'm expecting some big returns out of this matchup. Here we go, first look at the rookie. He's gonna be taking it up the middle, it seems like. Oh, nice little read there. Honestly, that return was solid. 34 is good, it's definitely above average, but don't get too comfortable with Patrick Mahomes returning the ball. Oh, we just came up short. Okay, what the heck? Maybe this is why he didn't make it that far. He doesn't have feet. What am I looking at? All right, a little Jalen Hurts versus Geno Smith up next. We have a runner and a pocket passer. This would be a big upset here. Oh, Hurts got a good return though. He just added a 40 yarder to his resume. This is a big ass from Geno. Let's see what he got though. One chance to do it. Or he's a limit. Oh, a little stutter there. That kind of messed him up. He was still 10 yards short. Jalen Hurts is going on. Gosh. Okay, so we have CJ Stroud versus Kirk Cousins, who is normally terrible at these. Trust me, we've been doing them for years. So, I mean, this would be crazy. The underdog is going to hang and bang first, starting from the Bruh. one. Oh, look how slow that he is. I can't believe he made it to the 25. CJ just can't open up that door. I would say 30 yards would be a super safe space. And he's getting 29, just short. Oh, what the heck? All right, Kurt's gonna be starting off in a similar position. Can he make it out to the 29? Oh, he's creeping towards it. What are you doing? You see what I mean? You know, you power through, you might actually have a chance to get that. We now have a little NFC versus AFC. Jared Goff versus Deshaun Watson. I honestly, like, who's even rooting for this guy? I'm not, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm really not even expecting him to win this, but... Oh, wait, mate. Oh, gee. The stutter that time actually kind of worked. That's 30 even yards. What do we got from Massage? <clears throat> I mean, Deshaun. <clears throat> I mean, what? Oh, is that going to be? That's, that, that's a tie. That's a tie. We have our first overtime. Deshaun Watson versus Jared Goff. One more return of peace to decide who's moving on. Here we go. Let's make it happen. 34 needs a block. Oh, he went the other way. Still a good, solid return, though. Yeah, Goff's going to need 35 to tie, 36 to win. I don't know if there is a prayer in the world that he could run that far without getting gassed or exhausted. Oh, my gosh. There's, there's so many decisions going on in his head. He could have had it. We now have Dak Prescott versus Bo Nix. Dak, I tell you what, he has not been the greatest in tournaments like these, to be completely honest. And, you know, there it kind of goes again. At the end of the day, 29's not that bad. Nick is taking his good old time to get downfield. Not a chance, I'm sorry. That's an easy one for Prescott. I know two is like dead and he shouldn't be doing stuff like this, but I'm putting him in. He's gonna be taking on Sam Darnold, Mr. Hot Stuff out of nowhere. And to be honest, my money is on the Minnesota Vikings here. Mr. Concussion himself is gonna be getting the ball from this six with Tyreek Hill blocking. He can't decide where to go. That'll be good for 30. You gotta remember, Sammy D has some underrated speed himself. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh my, he didn't get it. He came up just short. We actually got two of moving on. Hey, message to Caleb Williams. I tell you what, if you can't get past this round, you, you're just doomed in the NFL, honestly. All right, we got Stafford up first here in this round one matchup. And he'll end with an unimpressive 25 yards. We got our other rookie. Here we go. Let's see what he got. Pretty much already made it. And honestly, a solid return out past the 40. Hey, that's a little statement return from him. Finally, here we are, our last round one matchup. We have Aaron Rodgers going up against Josh Allen. Hey, hear me out. Like, th this would just be crazy. The oldest quarterback in the tournament, 40 years old, going up against a powerhouse in Josh Allen. My knee. Six. Probably not going to be good enough, but let's all find out for sure right here. Expect 17 to maybe get a broken tackle or two. Some hesitation, but there it is, nearly at midfield. That was easily a top five return. I expected nothing less from Josh. 
Let's get a quick peep in at the bracket. We are now down to 16 players as half of them have been eliminated. And before we get into round number two, here were your top five returns from round one with Justin Fields, the sole touchdown runner. Justin Herbert and Kyler Murray have been waiting a long time on the bench, but their time has finally come to go mono e mono. Here's where things might start to get fun as we have sifted through a lot of the more unathletic quarterbacks. My point exactly, 30. Seven yards for Justin Herbert. I tell you what, this would be a pretty decent upset if Kyler got eliminated here. Oh, he's not going to. Oh, is he going to? Oh, wait a second. Kyler clutched up and he needed to. The big return, 40 yards. All right, we got Daniel Jones and we have Lamar Jackson. Lamar, the second biggest return in round number one. Daniel Jones himself didn't even make it 30 yards, but he, he's still here. Let's let him tee it off first. Remember, this could be his last quarterback kick return tournament ever because you got to be a starting quarterback to be in one of these. Not a bad return, three yards better than his last. So we had an official score of 32 from Daniel. Let's see what Lamar cooks up here. Oh, he's so good at duping and breaking tackles. He's always finding a way to do it. We got ourselves the touchdown. That's what we've been waiting for. It's been a while. There we go. Hey, yo. What a return from Lamar. Put him in round three. He earned that one. This would be the Cinderella story right here. Derek Carr. Gotta defeat Justin Fields to make it to the next round. Let's see though, I don't know. Especially with Fields scoring a touchdown his last return too. Hey, at the end of the day, who knows what's gonna happen here. Return from the six. Car with a little bit of a slow start. Get but off me! Honestly, Justin Fields is totally on the chopping block. Yeah, that ended up being 39 yards. Well, you never know, but there is a good chance that my hopes and dreams could be crushed here. We need a big one. Oh, it's spin. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. You're kidding me, Justin. What a clutch return, buddy. Hey, yo, I'm sorry, Saints. You guys even earned that to move on. Though we have Anthony Richardson going against Joe Burrow. Okay, shorter kick. We're gonna keep it even on both sides. Here goes Richardson. Oh, he's finding a way. Oh, tackle. We got ourselves another touchdown. After nearly getting eliminated in round one, he got by by just a yard. And now it's almost certain he'll be moving on to round number three. Joe, I'm sorry. I don't see you scoring a touchdown, but you never know though. He, oh wow. Oh, he, he made a valiant effort. Was it enough? Absolutely not. He was short by 69 yards. Hey, how about this little 1v1? Jaden Daniels versus CJ Stroud. This is pretty even if you ask me. Daniels will be up first. Let's see what number five got in his back pocket. Looking pretty good. The broken tackle gets him like an extra yard or so. I don't know. There's definitely been some bigger returns. I don't know if 32 is going to cut it or not. On the other hand, Stroud did only have 29 in round one. Digs the block. Stroud trying to find room. and It is not there. We have a rookie moving on for the second time. Deshaun Watson will now be taking on Jalen Hurts in his round two matchup. Hey, this returns for Cleveland right here. If any of you guys are even watching this, or if they even have fans, I'm not sure. Oh, oh, there was potential there. We're going to say 32 is the yard marker to beat. Is it going to be Philly or is it going to be Cleveland? Jalen Hurts past the 32. Oh, that was actually close. I need to double check and confirm that. Dang, that's close. I think that warrants an OT. It's too close, boys. All right, we're even after a return apiece. Our second overtime, second for Deshaun. He's 1-0 in OTs. He might be 1-1 one one after that 40-yard return. The dog pound needs something huge out of number four. Will they get it? No, they will not. Deshaun is gone. We have Dak Prescott versus Caleb Williams up next. Caleb, a top five returner last round. Hey, all I'm saying is this. We know Caleb is capable of taking it past the 40. So anything short of that, I'd feel a bit uncomfortable. Oh, he had to fight for those 32. Here it is. We know where he has to get. Can he do it? The young buck choosing the... Oh, no, we cut it right. Oh, and he got 34. By just two yards, we have our second rookie in round three. Our last matchup in round two will be Tua versus Josh. Let's kick it off from the goal line now. Keeping it right, following Tyreek Hill. Oh, he missed a gap that could have took him all the way. He clocked in at 46, his first return, and needs just 32 to move on once again. Oh, he's got it. Nice and easy. Another big return 
46 Perfect. again from Josh Allen. He's consistent. We are now down to our elite eight. Here are your top competitors. Here are your top three yardage getters after round two. Each of these guys scoring a touchdown and Lamar at number one at 155. I tell you what, I don't think there's a single surprise that's here. I mean, these guys all have a chance to break one off. Let's go Kyler Murray. Where's the boy Justin Fields and see who's going to be the first to crack that final four. Let's go, man. Your boy's getting hype here. It's been a great tournament this far. Oh, that's actually a bad return. Yo, that's one of the worst ones we've seen in a while, actually. Could that be a free buy for Justin with the way he's been returning? So far, this QB has been a spectacle to watch. Can we go three for three? Get your boy. Oh my. Oh, we almost did. It was only 34 yards, but it was more than enough to make the final four. Congratulations, Justin Fields. Could this just be our most exciting matchup of the tournament? I'm gonna put it down, pound it in, lock it in, and say an absolute yes. Mr. Lamar Jackson will be kicking things off first with Anthony Richardson warming up on the bench. Oh, nice little cut there. Nothing too crazy though. We have 37 official yards. Whew. All of you rooting for Lamar. I'm sure you're sitting at the edge of your seat right now. Anthony, pull it off. No, we can't. He gets stuck up. Lamar, saved by the Broncos special teams. Wow, okay. I wasn't anticipating it to play out like this, but we will have a rookie in the final four. It's kind of been a little bit of an underwhelming round so far. Nothing huge has been broken off. We're going to continue with that. Jeez, man. We only got 28 yards for him. Caleb Williams has one chance and one opportunity here. What's he got? 31 yard line. Easy peasy for him. Not much to worry about. And finally, we got Jalen Hurts for Josh Allen. This is another one that could just go either way. I, I can't even predict a winner here. Well, maybe after that sorry return, I can. Only 26 yards? Definitely an underwhelming round. I, I really don't know what's going on here, but we got to play it fair. Everybody gets one return, and that's crazy. It wasn't anything special. It was good enough, though, by a single yard. I tell you what, this matchup's freaking awesome, too, because Justin Fields is going up against his former team. All right, come on, Steelers. You're up first. This is going to cross my fingers here and hope we get something good. Oh, it looked good. It was good. Keep it going. Come on. Got ourselves 36. Can Caleb Williams play spoiler and ruin my hopes and dreams? Boy, do I hope not. Oh, my gosh. He did not. We got Justin Fields in the finals, boys. I know I'm excited. I, and I also know that it's not like that crazy. He is the highest overall. It's just fun to be a root for somebody that actually made it this far for once. Let's go. We got two completely different type of runners here. Lamar Jackson, very elusive. Josh Allen, more on the power side. Let's see which of those attributes proves to be best. Lamar, oh, that's big. That's a good return, 39 total for him. Hey, we need a big score from Josh. He has proven to have done it already. So it's not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, the broken tackle. Oh my gosh, okay, he only got 30. Man, it's never played out like this before. Definitely the two best running quarterbacks are going mono e mono. Lamar Jackson versus Justin Fields. It's wild because each of these guys only gets one return. So you can't mess it up to decide the championship. What a freaking cut. Oh, Lamar. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my freaking gosh. I'm going to freaking cry. You want to talk about clutching up? That was insane. Dang it. You got to be kidding me. All right. To our feet here. Let's go. Of course, it's deep in the end zone, too. We need like 102 yards here. Show me something. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. 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 Dang it. You got to be kidding me. Demon. Lamar Jackson. Your quarterback kick return champion. 